Welcome to Adifco, your ultimate gateway to the cosmos, ancient myths, and everything in between. Here, we unravel the mysteries of the universe, exploring the fascinating intersections of Marvel's cosmic entities and ancient legends. Welcome to our journey into the mysterious realm of the Nephilim. These enigmatic figures from ancient times have captivated scholars and believers alike for centuries. Today, we delve into their story, exploring the legends, the controversies, and the enduring fascination surrounding these beings of myth and mystery. These enigmatic figures from ancient times have captivated scholars and believers alike for centuries. Today, we delve into their story, exploring the legends, the controversies, and the enduring fascination surrounding these beings of myth and mystery. Crossing it with the Marvel Celestials and their fascinating parallels with the biblical Nephilim, these cosmic giants have left an indelible mark on both Marvel lore and ancient scriptures, sparking wonder and curiosity across generations. The Nephilim are first mentioned in the book of Genesis, where they are described as the offspring of celestial beings and mortal women. They were said to be giants, towering over ordinary humans, possessing incredible strength and knowledge beyond mortal understanding. In the Marvel Universe, the Celestials are ancient cosmic entities of immense power and mysterious origins. They are depicted as towering figures who travel across galaxies, conducting genetic experiments and shaping the evolution of life on countless planets, including Earth. According to ancient texts, the Nephilim were born from the forbidden union between the Watcher's celestial beings tasked with observing humanity and mortal women. These Watchers, led by figures like Azazel, descended from the heavens, fascinated by the beauty and allure of the earthly realm. Their presence on Earth, however, disrupted the natural order and provoked divine intervention. The Creator, seeing the corruption and imbalance caused by the Nephilim, unleashed a great flood to cleanse the Earth. This cataclysmic event, known as the Deluge, is said to have wiped out most of the Nephilim and reset the course of human history. Despite this cleansing, tales persisted of some Nephilim surviving, hidden away in remote corners of the world or preserved in myth and legend. Their legacy endured through ancient texts and oral traditions, leaving behind a legacy of wonder and speculation. Scholars and researchers continue to debate the true nature of the Nephilim were they physical giants, metaphorical symbols, or something else entirely. Some interpret them as embodiments of divine wrath, while others see them as metaphors for the clash between the celestial and the earthly. Whatever the truth may be, the story of the Nephilim remains a powerful reminder of humanity's enduring fascination with the supernatural and our quest to understand the mysteries of ancient times. Yes, the story of the Nephilim is indeed found in the book of Genesis in the Bible. Specifically, they are mentioned in Genesis 6, 1-4, which describes how the sons of God, interpreted by some as divine beings or angels came down to earth and married human women. These unions resulted in the birth of the Nephilim. Join us next time as we continue our exploration into the realms of myth and history. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest investigations. Until then, keep exploring the mysteries of our world.